Hi, my name is Sohila and I'm the coordinator of Community and Workplace Integration at Ivy Group. Sarah, Odina, Manuel, and Oscar are one of the first families in Sudbury to be nominated through the ARNIT program. Ivy Group has been helping them through the entire process. Um, so I just want to start by, by asking you, you know, where, where you guys come from? What's the life like back home? Well, uh, we are a family from Honduras. We are a small country in Central America. We came here five years ago with a bunch of dreams and, you know, in, in the baggage. And I came as international student to Cambridge College. Now I'm working. She is. She works. She, she's working from the, you know, since the beginning, and doing some work experience. But now we're happy to to receive the nomination from the country for the army. And yeah, there is a lot of stories to to tell, but that's the. The highlights of our journey right here in Salisbury. Awesome. And what did you guys do for careers back home in Honduras? I was an owner of the one uh, company there. I I made chocolate. Oh, wow. So that is my 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 background there. Uh, I I had a, that company back in my country. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun to, to, to make chocolates in, in my country. I, I start from the beans to the bar. Oh, wow. The, the whole chocolate. process. Yeah, the whole process. So That's that was awesome. my, my background there. And have you always wanted to be an entrepreneur? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the whole idea. We, yeah, we're that here is... waiting for, you know, for the... That's the goal. Right. For the yeah. permanent resident and then residents and then we're thinking to start. If not, this, the, this, the same company or at least a similar company here, you know, to yeah. to make chocolate from the from the scratch and you know try to to have fun <laughs> right here in Sudbury too. Right. And my background, okay, I have a experience in the advertising and entertainment uh, industry. I I was you know production manager, artist manager, tour manager. Back in my days, I I traveled around the world with musicians and doing wow. shows, expositions, and all this kind of all kind of stuff. Doing movies and music, and I came here precisely because I was looking to get a, a, a diploma in production industry. But for some reason, I I went to the business. Uh, uh, it's cool, but yeah, I'm happy because it was the same thing. I was doing business in the music and uh, advertising and, uh, industry, and yeah. You said you traveled the world. Why did you choose to come to Canada? A future for, for, for the children. And if you look into the numbers, I think Canada is one of the best places in the world. And yeah. why Sobory? Okay. Yeah, I know it's hard to, to, to start from scratch in any other place, in a big place, because you, you can, you can, you, you easily can feel lost the, in, in, the, in, the, the, in the process, right. and then yeah. I think Sudbury has the the just the right uh, size. size. And, you know, it's to start. it's a quite quiet place. It's a nice place. Uh, it's not that big. It's not that expensive. I think it's the perfect place to start uh, living in Canada. Absolutely, and that's part of the Arnip initiative is getting people to come to these smaller communities because Canada is more than. The big cities, right? Yeah. So this is a great. The duration is is easier when you right. arrive to the small community uh, to start. Definitely, right. yeah. Um, okay, so Sarah and all, how is it different? Well, we used to go to a private school, okay. and now we go to a public Catholic school. So it's really different. The people are nicer here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I find it like school here helps me helps me more. Okay. than school back in Honduras. So yeah, it's a good different. Good, and did you find it hard to leave your friends or did you make friends right away? How was that? It was hard at first. Yeah. For yeah. me, it was She really cried hard. all the travel from <laughs> Honduras yeah. till here. And it, it, it was so sad for me. But a month, two, three months later, she was very, very well integrated in, in the community okay. with his her friends and and yeah, awesome. yeah, it was an easy transition. Yeah, 
I think it was easy transition. Okay. And how was your English before you came to Canada? We were in a bilingual school, so it wasn't oh, that hard for us to start speaking English here. Right. Okay. We were already used to the language. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And Oscar, do you play any sports or do you, are you involved in uh, school? Yeah, I play soccer and I do like basically all the school sports. Oh, nice. There is. Are they different here than from Honduras? I mean, in Honduras, I only did soccer, but not even for school soccer. It was like down league. And um, so I wouldn't know the school sports back there, but school sports here are nice. Okay. They're pretty good. Can you tell me about your immigration process? So getting all your documents ready and, and the paperwork, and how was that for you guys? Uh, it was not that bad. We, we didn't have any problem at all. Believe me, it was... But it, it, it took time. You, you, should, you should have to read a lot, to understand a lot, right. because you don't, you don't have to think what you want to think right. about what are you reading about la laws, about all right. the immigration policies. And it, he's very good with that. Oh, no, it's okay. We, we didn't have any problem at all with, with, with that, but yeah, it took really long time, long time. to okay. find it out every piece, every situation. You know, sometimes um, it's confusing because you, you're not really sure, okay, I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm okay, but I'm, I'm not sure because we were, you know, by, by ourselves, try, try, try by ourselves, trying to... to to find out how to do the best, uh, you know, decision or the best option, and it will be easy if we 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 will, we will have a somebody or, or a company like Ivy to help us in that process. We found Ivy in the middle of the journey, but uh, and now it's for sure it's easier than than than, than the beginning than right. uh, in that occasion. But yeah, it, I think it, it's important to have somebody to. To really know how works right. all the immigration process, because yeah. at the end of the day, we don't know. Right. So it's good to have somebody to, to help you. It's good to have, you know, uh, a company like Ivy or the people like Ivy helping you from from the beginning. You know, and now we're we're happy. We're really uh, very confident that yeah. we are in good hands. Yes, honestly. Good. We're very excited for this next chapter for them. How do you guys feel knowing that you're that much closer to permanent residency? It's, it's very exciting, honestly. Uh, it's a peace of mind and, and at the same time because now that you know that you are in the way to be a permanent resident, now you can start to do another kind of plans. You know, when you are as a worker or as a student, you have kind of limitation about what you want to do in the future. But now that we are on our way, now we can start to, to make plans. And big plans. what are your plans when you get your PR? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the, 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 the biggest one is, is start a business. That is okay. our our dream. I think it is the same dream that we have. Both. Yeah, yeah, for it's, sure. Uh, it's it's is nice. this bring my my business in in Honduras to here and and, and start again that business. I would be okay with the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, serving yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that is my goal and that that is my dream. Uh, I start to do that that business again awesome. here. So very yeah, yeah, we're doing. Business already, if if you if you ask me, because when we came here, we we were lucky. We we, we sold the the place where we live in back in Honduras, and we bought uh, two places here. We have a small business renting people. Oh, we have nice. a, our yeah. own uh, house and all this stuff, and we are looking always uh, for for new businesses new and, business, and, and new that kind of stuff. But you need to. To be patient because it's right. step by step, you know. Yeah. We need to get the permanent residence to, to have a more um, to have more freedom when you're yeah, trying right. to develop a, a business or yeah or so. And but yeah, we, we're really happy because you know we came here. I, I came uh, inter as international students, uh, a student. Uh, I came to we came to, to know about Salbury, and yeah, right now we 
we are really good. We are we, we think we are fine in Solberg and we were looking for, for the permanent residence. And, you know, it's, it was in that moment we, we didn't know how, what to do and all this stuff, but we found you and now we're we're close to the so final cool. step. Mm -hmm. I know we need to wait, there is a process, but you know, the city chooses, you know, that, that was yeah. the, 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 that's the, the, the main thing, you know. Yeah. Solbury told us. we are really nice people to stay here and yeah, yeah we're happy. <laughs> At yeah, least yeah. we have the, the, the city endorsement, you know, yeah. and thanks Solbury, we're nice people, believe me. <laughs> yeah. We are here to, to give to the city, you know, to give back yeah. all the experience, all the, all the good things you, I, I, we got from, from the city, we got it returned. You know, we're here to stay. We're here to to make this city better. You know, and yeah, that's so, the yeah. we're really happy because you know, and it's in some way it's historic. You know, it's historic because we are the one, one of the of first the families to be yeah. chosen, yeah. chosen, uh, chosen for the for the the for the city. Yeah, and yeah, we are just waiting for the final step and. I think awesome. it's, it will be easy because you're helping us. Absolutely. That, that leads me to my next question. What was your experience like applying through ARNIP and using IV services as well? Okay. Well, <laughs> we, were, we were trying to learn about our ARNIP and we had a really good idea, but believe me, it was completely different situation when we started working with, with, with IV because, you know, you... You're, you're professionals in this thing, you know, how to, uh, what to do and how to do it, you know, and, and you know, yeah. we were really stressed before the, before we, to start working with you and now, believe me, it was just smooth like butter, you know, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we just need to take a, some time to, to send you the information you needed and you're doing the, the, the whole process yeah. and helping us and, and yeah, it, it really... Uh, so far, it's a really good experience yeah. working with you guys. And it's a, 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 a truly relationship, right? Now, right. You know, it, it's, it's um, uh, a, a trusted relation, you right. know, uh, in both ways. Yeah. We trust you and, and you trust us as well. Yeah. So um, it's, it's very, very, very nice to work with. with Ivy group, definitely. Yeah. So it was nice yeah. working with you guys as well. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice yeah. to see our clients succeed and be happy and attain yeah. their goals. So, yeah. um, just one more final question. Would you recommend using ARNIP or IV services to other people hoping to immigrate or apply for their PR in Canada? It's highly recommended to, to, to hire you as a, as a as a company because uh, you will save a lot of time and problems yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, like I told you, we have a small um, agency bringing students to Cameron College. And yeah, we know how to apply to Cameron College. And we, we, mm -hmm give to these people the, the, the tools to apply and, and get into the, the college. But, you know, all the, the whole process of, of immigration, how to come here and apply for how to find we recommend even a that, house. that this is yeah. the people, you know, please call these people, tell them you're interested to come to Canada, tell them all your plans and they're going to help you for sure. And yeah, the, the ARNET program is a wonderful thing right now, you know. I know there is a lot of different uh, ways to, to to apply to for apply. permanent residence, yeah. but you know it's no, not so easy. But it's wonderful to, to, to have, have a program option. specific yeah. for the city. Yeah. You know, yeah, a program when you you can go there and tell the people that okay, you can apply and tell the people, okay, I'm the right people for Salisbury. Can you yeah. choose? Us? And it it's interesting, you know, because it's, it it makes it a lot a lot of a, a lot easier, you know, to, to, to get the permanent residence. You know, yeah. definitely, uh, we came to Silbury because, like we told you before, it's a small place, it's a really 
potential place for you know for businesses for develop a career or even for to grow children you know it's the, yeah. it's the, the perfect place the perfect and place. yeah and, and it's nice to know that the city is looking at us and mm -hmm. okay these people are doing cool in the city they, we can endorse them and bring in them keep them you know because it's, it's interesting why you're gonna leave uh, these people go back to their countries or down south because it's easier some people they can spend a couple times here, uh, years here, and then come back to, to their countries or go back to, to or go to, to down south. But if the city has this program, yeah, it's nice, you know, you, we're developing a life here and we're happy to be here. And yeah, I think it's a really interesting situation, a really interesting program. The requirement that you have to be between 35 and 45. Right? 45. We were because in the middle. So <laughs> at, at least looks like. <laughs> at least. But yeah. Believe yeah. me, we are here, we're doing cool. We have, we spent more than four years uh, living in, in Sudbury. It's a perfect situation. Mm -hmm. The combination of Arnip and Ivy is the best, uh, the best thing that we did when we yeah. came to, to the Sudbury. I'm yeah. really glad we, we were in. In your hands, are we really happy to be endorsed okay. by the city? And we're here, I think it's mm -hmm. a really nice experience so far. Awesome. Well, I just have one final question. What is your favorite thing about living in Sudbury? Um, for me, it would be the people. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, sir? Mm, I mean, I like, I like the sports a lot and also the snow. The snow. Yes. The snow. Yeah. yeah, I think the snow. The snow. <laughs> yeah. Not many people. And the people. <laughs> yeah, the the Canadian. That's you know what? A lot of Canadians ask me, why you are here in Canada? Why you are here in South Korea? It's so harsh. Yeah. yeah, because you are coming from a tropical weather. And why? Huh? It's nice. So, yeah, I like the people here in Sudbury. I like, for sure, the, the snow, the, the winter. Mm, it's hard to choose just one thing, but, you know, yeah, the outdoors are spectacular here. 300 mm. more uh, lakes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Even, you know, the Halloween celebration is fantastic here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was like our dream comes true. Right. You know, because in, in our country, never, never you will see snow. Never. Right. So come here and see. Yeah, that's snow. right. Even, even winter is cool. The, yeah. I know, the, it's hard if you're not uh, ready. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's like a, our dreams. Come even, true. Even, even the food is really nice here. You know, you have all the options. You have the, the, the South Asian food. You have the... Chinese food, you have the Japanese food, you have uh, Indian food. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the way. A little bit of everything. We are foodies in, in a way. We we try to find it out where is yeah. the best uh, food in town, and yeah, we we, we know a little that. bit about the the, the, yeah, the food. Yeah, we enjoy that. And yeah, enjoy that because we, you have options, you know. Yeah. Uh, right. Even you have uh, Mexican uh, restaurants. You have uh, maybe. Yeah. I'm just telling the only thing I, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be here soon. Uh, um, a First Nation uh, mm -hmm. restaurant. We are yeah. we were, we are we the know only, only yeah, restaurant. because there is no yeah. restaurant. No. Yeah, yeah, you can enjoy the the the, the 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 First Nation food when you go to the powwows in the summer. And, yeah. Ah, we miss the powwows because it, it, it's the, the it's still a really nice experience to do it in summer. Yeah. Right now. Because all this situation we did him. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, it's interesting, you know. We, we know every uh, street food uh, truck in, in Solbury. <laughs> we know where to eat really nice fish and chips. And, right. Okay, yeah. that's why I'm telling you, it's really hard to choose. To choose right. just one thing, <laughs> thing from Solbury. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'm really glad to hear that you guys are enjoying your experience here. And thank you so much for, for sitting down and talking with me. We're beyond excited for you guys for this next Thank step. you for having us. We're happy to be part of your journey. So thank you so much. Cool. 
Thank you so much for watching our video. And if you have any questions or inquiries, please feel free to email us at info at ivygroup.ca. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.